Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this video, I'm going to show you a new product that I have. It's a DC to DC boost converter. It's a set of five modules. I have four here. One I've already assembled. Uh, just want to show you how they come. So let's put these aside and pull in the one that I've already got working so I had to solder these wires onto it and I have configured it to output 12 volts so let me get a multimeter and set that up so that we can measure the input voltage at the same time so Right now, the input voltage is 12 volts, and I'm putting out 12, uh, sorry, 10 volts, and I'm putting out 12 volts. So let's see. So that you have a potentiometer here that you can adjust the output voltage. So I'm reducing it. You can take it back to 12 volts. Let's see. So we have it back at 12 volts, and now I'm going to try and reduce the input voltage. Drop that down too. So, as you can see, the input voltage is 1.75 volt. That's below the minimum required for this module, which I believe is 2 volts. So, let's just go and do that. Set it to 2 volts. There we go. So the input voltage is 2 volts, putting out about 11.9 to 12 volts. So this is kind of pushing the envelope with this module. So we're still getting about 11.9. And remember, we have no load on it, so the voltage will drop a bit once you have some load on the circuit. Um, let's increase the input voltage to something like 2.5 so there you go at 2.5 we're getting pretty much about and we can let's just see if we can adjust this a bit there you go. so if I had a low input voltage I'd set it at that I'm getting steady 12 volts with 2.5 volts in and if I increase my input voltage the output should be pretty much steady all the way up to I think about 10 11 volts let's see so I'm at 10 volts 11 volts So at this point, my input voltage and my output voltage is the same. And so obviously, if I go beyond that, the output voltage is going to reflect that because this is a boost converter. So it's a one-way conversion. It's not a buck and boost. But um, it's a pretty inexpensive module. You get a set of five. Um, I'll share the links of where to order these, uh, but I think for the size of it and for the price of it, this is this is a very impressive uh, boost module. Next video, I should uh, demonstrate and share with you a a buck converter, which has similar properties in the sense that it is 
actually smaller than this and again similarly priced thank you hope hope this video uh, was useful um, just for you to know you know where you can use this the model number on the back up there it says MT3608 it's pretty compact um, hard for me to actually test the thermodynamics of this given that I've got no load running on it um, Maybe perhaps if there is a desire, I could actually test it with some load on it as well. Thank you. Thank you for the, uh, watching the video. And if these videos are useful to you, please uh, subscribe.